on The Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Now, what the fuck's the problem? You're not coming with us. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, Ken. I'll do it. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay and, well, if they're not, what happened to them. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! right here and you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not now what I need the fuck I don't know but I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out Squat. Can't I just hold it? Just for a little while, we're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? There sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive. If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who the hell is this? Hello? Hello? I said answer me. What was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh boy. Everybody, run! Kenny. Damn Kenny. Kenny. Yep. Got him. A little too close. Don't you think? Ben. No. Ben. How in the hell did y'all get over there? God damn it. Are you serious, bro? Are you serious, bro? You gonna leave? Oh, wow, bro. I'm gonna beat Move his ass. River Street's right up ahead. I'm gonna That's straight beat all. his ass. I'll give me a fucking break. Wait, where the hell is Tuck? Damn, look like he's taking the one for the team. We gotta help him. There's no time. We gotta go now. How do we die? Go! Damn, he took one for the team, man. Damn. But bro, are you serious, bro? You gonna leave her, bro? I'll get the door. He's about to catch these hands, bro. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've got to get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Let me see if I can find us a way in. Uh, leave it up to me. <sighs> oh, yeah, we're gonna talk to him in a minute. Hold on. First of all, let me check up on Clementine real quick. Dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? Try not to worry. Even if they saw us, they can't get in here. We did. Why can't they? We're a lot smarter than they are. They're just like dumb animals. They can't open doors. We used to have a pet hamster. One night, he figured out how to open the door to his cage. And when we woke up, he'd eaten half a box of cookies. I don't think this is quite the same, Clem. Yeah, right. This time we're the cookies. Just stay away from the gate, and we'll see about getting us inside the house. How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. She's just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside now. I'm on it. Just sit tight. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. You yeah, let me talk to him real quick. Ben. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. Facts. I hear you. Nah, 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 nah. Damn it! That's not giving you me the option to hit him. Through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Maybe later. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. I'm gonna go check things out. All right. 
Talking about you froze. Look, don't get me wrong. A lot of people would be scared in that situation, but you wouldn't leave a little girl behind like that, man. How's it coming? Found a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah, we'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We can just figure out how to get in. Hey, how you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest. But I don't think talking about my feelings right now is going to help us get inside this house. Maybe you Thank should you. have a look around. See what you can find. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's, it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. All right, so... Where's the dog? You can't be serious right now. <clears throat> Dog. I'll make sure there's nothing over here. Uh huh. The shovel is never not useful. So the dog died. They didn't take the collar off. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but. Oh. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be. You know what I mean? Yeah. I hear you. Hey, what's buried down there? Nothing. Clem, go over and sit with Krista and Omi, okay? But I want to... Just do what I say, okay? Damn! <laughs> Aww. God, the smell. Maybe that was, that was not the right decision. I can't get it off. Okay, that is not cool. Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? You know what's crazy? I need to I need to start thinking like she's seen dead things before. Dude, you're not gonna break that thing open. All you're gonna do is make a lot of noise we don't need. What the hell? I thought that was the collar. Oh. Where'd I get a wrench from? There goes nothing. Yes! God damn! Hey, bro, chill the fuck out. You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. <clears throat> it's no good. I can't get it. Here. Let me try. I think I can. <laughs> Clem, are you okay? 
Say something. Ta-da! Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. We have breached the perimeter. No? It's a nice house, too. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I didn't see the point in worrying anyone. Not until I figured out who it was. I don't like people keeping secrets. I especially don't like it when they think it's for my own good. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What if they're the same guy? That doesn't make any damn sense. If it was the same guy, why would he warn us? Damned if I know. Maybe they were just trying to mess with us. Wouldn't be the most screwed up thing I've seen these past few weeks, I can tell you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. And I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. I think we could all use a little time to rest up and gather our thoughts, Kenny. At least until those walkers outside wander off and Omid's feeling better. He best feel better quick. I ain't gonna wait around here too long. Okay, I see where you're coming from, Kenny. But uh, we do need some kind of rest, brother. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door. Understand? Okay. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one, nah. kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen and Omid need anything, okay? Okay. Alright, let's see. I got some Doritos in. <laughs> oh, Man, you know what? They probably ain't got nothing in here. I'm just going around because you never know. checking the downstairs hmm you say I ain't that hungry yeah I feel you brother must have stopped working a while ago probably not the best idea right now I need to stay frosty stay frosty my friends <laughs> looks expensive and heavy Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. How's it coming? Hold on, in a minute, in a minute. There's nothing in the kitchen. Okay. 
Wait, oh, that's the dog food. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was this thing. I'm sorry, I'm about to pick up a weapon. Kenny and Ben have the second floor covered. I should finish checking down here. Surprise, motherfucker. Jesus! What? What happened? Nothing. It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. <laughs> Man, I'm scared shitless. <laughs> oh. Bro, I'm literally going around this house and not finding nothing. Surprise again, motherfucker. Oh, no, no. All clear in here. Just one more to check. Uh oh, look at the photo. The family photo. That's tight. Sad, though, man. The fuck? Exactly my style. What the hell is that? Like some some strangulation porn look like. <laughs> uh oh, here we go. Surprise two times, motherfucker. No, it's the That's bathroom. the last room. Looks like downstairs is secure. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, uh, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Back off, Krista. She hasn't done anything wrong. I'm not saying she intended to, but she's just a kid. She doesn't know any better. You never told her not to talk to strangers? I mean, these days more than ever. Clem, honey, who is the man you've been talking to? It's okay. You're not in any trouble. You just need to know. I don't know, but he really seems nice. I think he wants to help us. That person's not nice. Help us how? Clementine, what exactly have you told him? I told him that we were looking for my mom and dad and that they were in Savannah. He said he thinks he might know where to look for them. Have wow. You anything else about us? Clementine, try to think. This is important. What else have you told him? Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Dude. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. That's how, wow, taking advantage of a little girl like that. Talking about, yeah, I know where your parents are. No, he don't. Kenny? Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, shit. What the f- Kinda looks like Duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? 
seen nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can. Wow. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it. Like I did before. Yeah, we gotta take care of him though before he Are you sure? You know. I guess we'll find out. Here. This'll make it clean and quick. What are you doing? I thought you said you were gonna take care of it. Oh what Sorry, the f man. Bro, I need to what the hell? I can. I don't know that I can either. Dude! I didn't know that was the Wow, I'm stupid, guys. It's okay. I'll take care of it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'll take care of it. I literally just said what why is that an option then? That shouldn't have been an option, but this must have been where he slept. My dumb ass. All empty. He probably died of dehydration before he starved. Damn. What a way to live. What a way to die. I said I'll take care of it, but then I gave him the gun. Just ran out of food, like we almost did. Like we still might. Okay, is that everything? Okay. Poor kid must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. This could have been Clementine if I hadn't found him when I did. Wait, should we? I don't know, man. Should we use the gun though? Because that's the. Do we have it in the mask? It the mask the, the blast. Let me see if I can. Uh, All right, you know what? How about we just beat his head in or something? This sucks, man. I'm sorry. I was thinking about that too, because if I shot that would have been loud. I'll take care of it. I think I know what we're doing. That hole that we dug outside, we're gonna put him in there with Walter. I have a feeling. Cause what else are we gonna do with the body? Give him a proper burial. Yep. Where his dog is. Damn. Yep. Rest in peace, man.
Whoa, shit. Whoa, hey. hold on, fam. Hey. You about to catch these hands. You come back here, I'll kill you. You understand? I'll kill you. Lee, what's going on? There was somebody outside that gate. I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? It looked like I'm a dude. It's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Yeah, this is my... Somebody about to catch these hands. hands. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing. But the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. I ain't gonna lie, bro. She's yeah. ready to go. We're moving out. I'm with Kenny. Yeah, so the sooner we, we leave, the better, man. We gotta get out of here. Well, then, hell, what are we waiting for? I'll go get my stuff. No, Ben, you'll only slow us down. Lee and I can go scout the river while the rest of you get ready to move out. You stay behind with Krista and Omid. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know. It's just oh, see, that's the thing, man. We all have to I want to, but to it's too dangerous. Day. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? After what you did, bro, you like I don't clock your ass. That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear. No. Uh -huh. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem <laughs> shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone. Good. I don't know why I did that, because he left at one time, but... Everybody needs a redemption, I guess. I'll give him a second chance on that. Krista's got Omid, so it wouldn't make sense for him to watch over her and Omid. So, yeah, man, you watch on over Clementine. I wish he gave me an option to, like, punch him out, bro. Cause that, that legit pissed me off, man. You gonna leave her like that? Yeah. Talk about I froze. Like, I'm pretty sure if this was a real life situation, we all would have some freezing moments. But damn, I wouldn't have the heart to do that. You know what I mean? Then you ain't got no weapons on you, Kenny. You think everyone's safe back at the house? Safe as anyone can be these days, I guess. I just hate leaving Clementine alone. As if walkers weren't bad enough, now we got this crazy motherfucker on the radio stalking us. Won't be a problem once we get out on the water. River's just a few blocks up ahead. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's okay, there track. we go. Yeah, get no, your piece out. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's going to get the dead moving over there. What in the hell is going on? Wait a minute. I don't know, but the 
person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. No, 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 no. Seriously. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Because he literally just said that bell is farther away, so so the zombies are gonna, the walkers are gonna go to that, buying us time to get to the river. So I'm thinking whoever run that bell is actually trying to help us. Oh my god! There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Damn. This is the plan, Lee. This is our best and only shot. You said so yourself back at the house. You agreed with me. Yeah, but that was before we... That looks dead, man. This one might still be salvageable. <laughs> this boy is fucked. You better be right about this. I said it might be. Give me a fucking break. I'm a fishing captain, not a miracle worker. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. <laughs> Maybe there's something at the other. I should have said that. Like, yo, this boy is fucked. Split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Wait, you want me to look across the river? Crime a river. Oh. Yo, y'all see that? What the fuck? Some kind of warning? We'll do something like this. Hell no. Huh. Maybe there's stuff we can, like, pick up. What the hell are these markings? They're all over the place. Mm hmm. Could be military tags, but what do they mean? It's an old cash register. Not much use these days. Well, let's crack this. Uh, well, it's kind of. Must have taken weeks to board up all these windows. Damn. Let's see. Looks like it's still intact. Locked. Hey, Kenny, you got a quarter? <laughs> Air siphoned, tires removed, engine parts missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. You see, this is the time when uh, I would have teleportation as a power, a superpower. So I could just gather up everybody and we could just teleport the fuck out of here. That's what I would do. She would fuck trying to find a boat and shit. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Solid. Wait, a quarter. Well, let's go back to the cash register. Can I can I just get a quarter out of that or something? They probably cleaned it up when they left. Wow. Hello, beautiful. Empty. Yeah. Yep, I kind of knew it. Normally, usually they would have money underneath that. 
that thing in there. Hang on. Hey, turn up, turn up. We got our quarter. Thanks a lot, Kenny. Let me stop. Yeah, man, this man been going through. He, he went through enough. Let me see. Perfect. Fuck. What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Holes crack beneath the water line. Well, someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it. What the? What the hell is that? A fate worse than death. That one, that one in the middle, literally has it going right through his ass. <laughs> Boy. Okay. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. Plenty of docks. No boats. Well, I'm just gonna scan across the across the way. No way that one's salvageable. The Talmadge Memorial Bridge. Can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. Nothing but water. Not a boat to be seen. Yeah, I'm just gonna go through everything. Oh shit! Oh shit! Are you serious? Get down! Get down! Uh, there's our little friend. It's morphin' time. <laughs> Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like a plan. Yeah, we need to okay. find out who this person you is, too. The middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. Ain't no way in hell you heard me. What the? What? Wait, hold on. How? No. What? Clem? Please don't hurt him. Where did she come from? <laughs> His face, like what? <laughs> You're not the guy on the radio. I'm not a guy at all. All <laughs> marks for observation. Damn, you a badass though. How does she do that ninja shit? Kenny, don't. He's got your ass, Wolf Kenny. Who the hell are you people? We are survivors. <laughs> I ask you first. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny Clementine. I'm not looking for any trouble. Molly Mounds. Let me stop. <laughs> You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? 
No, I'm from Macon. Kenny here's from Florida. She didn't ask for our life stories, Lee. What's the deal with this Crawford place? You sure you want to know? Uh, yes. When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Do you know who's been rigging those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us. Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa. Kenny, you already got your ass whooped, man. Ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raised the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. Was that you at our house this morning? Watching me through the back fence? Hell no. Believe it or not, I've got better things to do with my time. I'm going through all the options. I kind of knew it wasn't her. Like I said, the, the one that was behind the fence was like a dude. How'd you get out of the house? Well, Meat started getting really sick. Krista and Ben had to take him upstairs. I didn't just want to sit around there. I wanted to come help. I told you we didn't need any help. Damn. Really? Because if it weren't for her showing up when she did, I would have beaten your brains out. That's debatable. Uh-huh. <laughs> She's like, uh -huh. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. But she did Basically, kind of show up out of nowhere. How did she know? Oh, okay, well. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived. While the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. That's not how our group does things. You're not saying they actually... I mean, I mean, kids? No, the children, they just forced to leave. Along with their parents. Left them to fend for themselves out here in the world. Why? Like I said, zero tolerance. Crawford got rid of anyone that couldn't pitch in. Pull their own weight. God the damn! It, those people were just a lot of useless mouths to feed. A drain on their precious resources. Sound like some cult they got going. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Damn, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. Look, I'm going to ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you... We're just trying to survive, same as you. And the only way we're gonna survive is by getting on a boat and getting the hell out of here. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch True. of the city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You wanna keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before. Great. Just right. Dog. Isn't that the, the way we came? Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the Yeah, house? Kenny. Is there a Damn, she's dipping. <laughs> Let's go 
gonna leave us here? Sorry, I must have missed that part of our conversation where you became my problem. Don't leave us here, please. Come on, at least help her out, man. Come on, make it fast. Oh, fuck me. Come on, come on, hurry. Maybe later, Kenny. No, let me stop. <laughs> Come on, come on, Lee, Lee, stop, bro. Oh my god. You did it on purpose, Kenny. Yeah, you did that shit on purpose. Oh no. Come on, Lee. Get no. Your ass out. Oh shit! Yup. Mm-hmm. Adios. Can't get it open. Here, use that to pry it open. You a real one. I can tell she's gonna be a soldier for us, man. Come on, 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 come on. Woo! Yo, that was too close. You know she did. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Damn, we by ourselves, man. Damn! Shit. Yeah, shit is right. I'm with you, brother. So we gotta go this way. Yo, this is intense. Oh my God. Wait, do we still have our gun? Our weapon? Okay, yeah, we do. Yeah. They having a whole Thanksgiving meal down here. Damn. Wait. Okay. There's no way I can take out all of those things by myself. Wait, is there somebody down there? No, I ain't going to that path this way. Fuck. Okay. Um, shit. I don't even know why I'm whispering. <laughs> Am I supposed to go this way, though? Okay, there we go. How come we didn't do that before? Won't turn anymore in that direction. Oh wait, hold on. Let's turn it the other way. There we go. Let's put this back on. Turn it 
turn it off. So that zombie can go away. Oh, let me see if the zombie's still there. Oh shit, he's still there. God damn. Okay, so. Hey. Okay. Okay. So that zombie's still there. So we have to be very careful. Then we're going to put that on there. Hopefully this works. Hey, turn it on. Aha! And then we just go around him through the passage. Sweet. <gasps> oh no! This old boy! Tucker! So we got past that part. Now let's just go ahead. Let's go ahead. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. No! Fuck. No! That was so stupid. I was. Yo, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. Come on, 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 I didn't mean to do that. All right, now let me go. Okay, we really gotta go. Oh my lord! Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get that one open. Fuck! Come on, come on, come on, man! Come on, man! The fuck? What the hell? What the fuck? Man. Brace yourselves. trouble neither do we which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now look I'm sorry I disturbed you folks I'll just be going you can't let him leave he's from Crawford if he goes back there no I'm not down here are you from Crawford no you don't lie to me no no where else can he be from everywhere else around here is dead I'm not from around here I'm from Athens grew up in Macon I have a brother in Macon you were there. But he didn't make it. Did he no, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that was wrong. 
You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever oh, showed. Hold on, Trick. Stand back, oh. Vernon, what do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. Boy, looks like you ain't shot that gun in your life, son. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I ain't gonna hurt y'all, man. Relax. relax. Just relax. Everybody's on edge right now. You're Just really chill out. See, the brother calmed down. He said, like, yeah. I'm really not. Well, we are. Or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. Oh, We're shit. In remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? The morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people well that sewer system you came through runs all over the city it'll take you wherever you want to go those sewers are like a damn maze any chance you could help me find my way back look i'd like to help you but we've all got our own problems two of our group are that's sick true need constant care and i'm the only doctor but you here. gonna help me <laughs> besides why should we help you oh chill out Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Uh -oh. Let's go. I don't know, man. That look, that granny, that last granny had. It'll he about to mess with Lisa. Yeah, fuck him up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's probably gonna lead me down to where the walkers really <laughs> really congregating that. Yeah, girl, you need to chill out. Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. What you mean? Oh. <laughs> My apologies. I wasn't going to steal it, I promise. <laughs> Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him.
Oh maid, honey. You're gonna be all right. Did y'all get any medicine? All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Yeah, Clementine. Clementine. Yep. Clementine? Uh oh, you got, a, got a own little office. Damn, this house, this house is nice. Clementine. Clem, you in here? I don't know why, but hey, it's best to check everywhere. Drawings, but where is she? Yeah, yo. All these adults in here, y'all couldn't keep an eye on 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 on, on Clementine, bro. Okay, so we can't go that way. I don't think we went here yet. Clementine, you here? Time for that. Hello. What are you doing? Oh, uh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Mm-hmm. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey. Do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why Damn. don't you go bug them? You know what? She's right. I did leave Ben in charge. But Clem did leave on her own, so... She better be downstairs. If she... Oh my god, she better be downstairs. I'm gonna be so pissed. Clem? Oh, let's oh, oh, let's check the other room. I know it said check downstairs, but we're gonna check every room. Oh, what the what the hell? This house is a maze. Okay, so the dead room has uh two doors. Oh. Clementine, you up there? I don't know, man, but uh, Where could she be? I mean, you, you, you yelled, but is she up there, though? Clementine, where are you? Clementine, come out, please. Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? Right. What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. You want to throw down again like back on the train? Because I fight better when I'm shit-faced. What the fuck were you thinking letting Kenny get like this? Hey, man, I tried, but he gave me a look like he was going to rip my face off. He won't listen to you. You think he was going to listen to me? To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? But we need to stay sharp, man. You a bitch. You a bitch. Bro, please let me put hands on him. Y'all, yeah, let me talk to him real quick. 
Yeah, I need to ask him a few questions. Like, why did you let? Have you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, I gave you one job when I left here. Take care of Clementine. Then she shows up out on River Street looking for me. The hell happened? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omi took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. Nah, she fam. She was frantic, and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay nah, put. Nah, fam. What else could I do? Don't be sorry. Just tell me where the hell she is now. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be, or it's your ass. <laughs> you better be, or that's your ass. Keep in mind, I do got this gun in my back pocket, bro. Clementine? Clementine! Bruh. All these adults in this house, y'all couldn't... Ooh. I just want to punch the shit out of somebody. Doors covered in knives. I told Ben to watch her, bro. I think anyone came in through there. Oh. This is. That's where something happens to her, bro. I'm shooting everybody. I'm sorry. All y'all gotta go. Can we go back up in the attic, though? Because I feel like that's the only place we ain't checked yet. Damn. Rest in peace, man. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The fuck? Uh oh. Get your gun out, Lee. Get your gun out, bro. Oh, shit. Clementine. in there exploring and look look what I found oh my god are you fucking this was here the whole time I know right it looks perfectly in condition, too. Now, would you get your drunk ass together? Uh-oh. Oh boy. We have found the boat. That's crazy. Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I. Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? That is very fair. Well? You want the good news or the bad news? There's bad news. Ah, uh, the good news. We could all use some good news. Good news is, the boat's seaworthy enough. In pretty good shape, mostly. Mostly? That's the bad news. Gas tank's empty, and her battery's dead. We need to fix both before she's taking us any place. Well, how are we supposed to get there? 
We should go back out on the street, see what we could find. That's not gonna work. Crawford took everything and brought it inside their walls. They siphoned every gas tank, stripped every battery. There's nothing left out there. You saw that for yourselves. She's right. Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because, from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. That's putting it mildly. We negotiate with them like civilized people. We must have something they'd be interested in taking in trade. Negotiate? With Crawford? Once again, I have to remind you. You have no idea what these people are like. They'll take they what they me want, yet. and then decide whether or not to let any of you live. So what? No one has any ideas? There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. Okay. That's not bad. That's better. Yeah, that's better than my plan. I <laughs> thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? We can do this. I know it. Hell yeah, we can. Are we seriously talking about this? I mean, what about the risk? I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. Thanks. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? You know you want to say Look at him. We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. <sighs> I gotta stop treating her like a little girl, man. I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. Mm -hmm. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? I don't think I'll find them in Crawford, Sweet Pea. Why not? Because they're good people. And Crawford is a bad place run by bad people. I don't think they would have stayed in a place like that. How do you know they're good if you've never met them? Well, they raised you, didn't they? Okay. Nah, got her. Can't I come with you? Man. Fuck it. Okay. Fuck it. You can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready.
Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? Oh. What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Mark. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Good. We're gonna need all the help we can get. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. I'm always a badass. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This little girl's not just excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Facts. <laughs> he looks so happy like, yeah. Man, for some reason, Ben, bro, you man, you bitch. Clementine has bigger balls than this you. Should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people, this is it. Remember the plan. We stay she's ready quiet. for war. We stay hidden and we stay together. We find what we need and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? As soon as we get up there, that freeze! Staying close. That goes double for you. I know, right? Yeah, I want you on my hip. Okay, let me see. Let's go. Come on, guys. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. Let's do this. What the fuck? What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, oh. fast! Come on, y'all, hurry up, hurry up. I swear. <laughs> if he does anything to fuck up again, we're done with this character. I, I will, I'm, I'm gonna hate this character for the rest of the time, I'm sorry. So, I think we're good for now, at least. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than our guards. 
I agree. So long as we don't let him box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Bro, every, every character in this game got more balls than him. Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Just keep moving. Yeah, let's just keep moving. The quicker we get this stuff, man, the quicker we can get the hell out of here. Looks okay. Everybody in. Man, this is intense, man. Fuck. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Oh, man. Any idea where we could find a battery? Maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. What about the medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Was your nurse? Makes sense, doesn't it? I mean... Okay. I'll Yo, Molly. Ah. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Alright, we got a plan. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. Godspeed. Let me talk to Carly. Uh, damn, I said Carly Clementine real quick. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. Oh. Back before you know it. Ben, do not fuck this up because I will find you. All right, so let's go ahead and get this uh, fuel. Molly? Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. He looked like a pompous asshole. Shit. Wait. 
Where's my the alleyway to the auto okay. shops down here. You coming or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Hopefully, I'm going the right way. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. Wait, wait. Okay. I thought that was an alarm door. Man. Molly, you out here? Guess I'm not going that way. Okay. Let's take a look around here. This game's intense, man. Auto shop must be down this way. Yep. Whoa! I know y'all saw that. You better stop fucking with me. <laughs> I'll shoot your asshole off. Climbing the fence isn't an option. Yeah, that's barbed barb wire shut. Let's see. Please be sturdy enough. Please be sturdy enough. Please be sturdy enough. Cool. Let's go. That's what's up. That'd have been too easy. Okay, well, hold on. Damn, it's jammed tight. There has to be something around here that we can use. Better not get too close. Yeah, hell no. There has to be something, though, that we can use. Um, oh shit! Where the hell he come from? Leave him. He's mine. What were you doing up there? Damn. Um. Molly. Molly. What? I think uh, you got think him. You got One more. Jesus. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. What did he do to you? Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh, yeah. That'll work. Fuck. Alright, yo, y'all need to stop looking like that and just get this shit. That's what you need to do. How the hell did he that strong, though, too? That's the one thing I don't understand. They that strong that they are pushing Come a gate on. like that. You still didn't get him. All that shit, you still didn't get him. It's crazy. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Thank you. The hell was that about, though, yo? I don't have to talk to you about that. Of course, another time, though. Okay. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Looks like Crawford had their own semi-trucks. 
Okay. Fuck. I see that red. Yep. That blinking must be an anti theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Um. No power. That'd have been too easy. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Okay, so let me see. It's locked. No way in. Wait, so I can't reach it up there. I know. But I'm trying to Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Let me talk to Molly real quick. Let's see if I can get that weapon. Yeah. Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. All right. I did it. Whoa, whoa. That's probably not good. No Fuck. shit. Are you fucking serious? I'll try to hold him off. Hurry. There's the battery. Finally something goes right. Still attached to the terminals. Still attached to the terminals. Wait, what? Okay. 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 It's all. Okay, come on, come on, come on. We gotta go. We gotta Got go. Got that one off. Yep. Let's go, baby. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. You sure? Okay. Follow okay. me. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Great. Now what? Skylar. It's shot. Shoot it out. Hey, come on now. Help me. Help me, please. Let's go. Let's go. Damn, you strong. All right, let's go. Ah, uh, that went smooth, I'd say. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. Okay. What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. Shit! Wow. Got my. <laughs> snapped both my ankles in my. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? <laughs> okay, so. I'm a, wow. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. <clears throat> Alright, we got it, we got it this time, we got it this time. She's a real one, though, man. Yo, that was crazy. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. 
Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. What? See you back in class. Molly! Damn it, what the hell is she doing? Why, for some reason, I thought she was up to no good? Can't open it without the combination. Are you serious right now, y'all? Oh, hold on. Little help! Little help here! Oh, shit! Nah, fam. Nah, fam. Nah, ball. Unfortunately, Molly took the damn battery. You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With That's a place what's up. like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. Yeah. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Damn. Been in treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost Damn. My whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd it's fucked up. About it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. It is, man. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Hops Damn, it's fucked up. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Oh, shit. <clears throat> I agree. 
I think he's Dog, to yeah, I forgot. I'm the only one that knows. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. You better take some of that bass out your voice. I know that. I don't know who the fuck you talking to. Hey, Clemmy. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it. Being in school. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what. When we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? <laughs> no homework. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's I hope she tough. doesn't screw us up. up. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? Hell no. I don't think so, Clem. I think the I'm just being brutally honest with, with you, Clem. I'm sorry, girl. Find a way to survive, to stay together, and to not let this change us. That's what's important. I guess you're right. You know I'm right. All right, you stay there. Okay, well, if there's nothing in here for me to do, I guess I'll go outside and... Okay, so I can't walk that way. Molly better not be bullshitting me. Hang on, yeah, let me see about this thing I was... Okay, so I can't go that way. Oh no. Shit. Oh shit. How? How? Must be trapped in there. Oh shit. Man, I don't know, man. Yep, you get it too. Yep. Fuck. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Are you serious, like bro? They were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. It'd be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Why am I loyal, man? How about y'all look around? Y'all been in here all this time? Y'all should have looked around. Shit. <laughs> Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Like I'm saying, all this time y'all was stuck in this room. Shoot, y'all just kept y'all should have just kept on looking. Just saying, man. Not working. Why am I always the one gotta look for shit? Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination though. Okay. 
No, we can't go out there yet. Ohms probably haven't worked in months. Okay. Let's check here. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. Okay, hang on real quick. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like that trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? Oh, I think I know what we have to do, guys. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. I think I know what to do. We gotta follow this blood trail. Uh, already cleaned out. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Let's, let's, yeah, let's play the tape. Roll the tape. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. What? I to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. What? I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier <clears throat> on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn. He was about to type in the code. Damn it. Damn it. We almost had it. Right. How kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We got to keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on it. Oh. Wait a minute. Hold on, man. Now that you mention it, she was wilding out on old dude in that alley. Is Molly Anna? I don't know. I mean, that would be the reason why she would wild out on him. And uh, I think she even said like, like he deserved it or something. I don't know. Damn, I forgot what she said. Is that what's going on there? All right, so we have to, uh, dog, it's all, it's all making sense. It's all coming clear now. I think Molly's Anna. Oh shit. Nope. 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 You ain't getting this dark meat. The fuck? Oh. Who said watching television ain't helpful, huh? Huh? Let me stop. Yep. Nah, fam. Get your ass back here. Yep. Stomp him out. Mm-hmm. Night night.
Yup. Bingo. This might be just what we need. What's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit. Time to go. Facts. I thought she did something with the body. I'm like, oh, what the hell? I'm thinking, oh, like, but hey, don't take my word for it. I don't know if she's Anna or not, but from the way this is shaping up, man, it might look like that was her. And they made her do that procedure. Yeah, that's why she wailed out on him. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you, please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Come on, man, hurry up. Type in the damn code. Uh, damn! Uh, uh, no. 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 Damn, full check. <laughs> she full checked him. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> Looks like the sick system these bastards cooked up to protect themselves wound up destroying them. Can't say I'll shed too many tears over it. Facts. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You go on ahead. I want to make sure we didn't miss anything. I'll be right behind you. Don't take too long. Dog. Hang on. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Mm -hmm. Full check. Full check. No. 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 He said no. Oh, hell no. Let's put the other one in real quick. I know we've already seen these, but I want to see if uh... this is day eighty-two since the outbreak, fifteen forty-seven. Doctor Logan in consultation with patient Anna. Car Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. 
As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Olsen That's sad, finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Okay. <clears throat> okay, there's nothing with the videos. Okay, so let's see. No tape inside. I'm just trying to Vernon and Krista already took everything we need. I'm just looking. Just double checking, making sure we missed didn't miss anything. Oh, sorry. Uh Okay, when we first came in, we did that. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, those are the video files. Yeah, I think we're good. Ain't nothing else in here. Now, unless I'm truly blind and just didn't see it. I don't think there's nothing in there. Jesus Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery down. Oh, yeah, uh, about that. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm just kidding. Here you go. Don't do that. Don't do that, please. What's that? Nothing. Sure there's nothing you want to tell me? Yeah, I'm sure. Are we done? What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Damn, Ken. I was about to call you Kenny. I ben? I spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Again? Ken with her. We okay. still can't open that armory door. You sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Are you fucking... Oh, shit! Ben... You are the biggest fucking knucklehead I have ever seen. Lee, shoot this fucker! Thanks. It wasn't me. Keep going, kid. Nice shot. Oh shit, Clem! Good shot, girl. Taught you well. GGs. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come bro, on, you've been here. fucking up severely lately, bro. This is my fault. All my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about yeah, this. Yeah, we talked about no, this. Wait, I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Right. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben. We don't, don't have, have time, time for this, this bro. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? 
It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Fuck. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Nah, man, I know how you feel, bro. Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. Yeah, man, I, I feel for you, bro. You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dad! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can whip his skinny little ass later. But right now, man, Kenny will go. demolish his ass, bro. Nice group you got here. Not the time. I know, man. right? <laughs> if this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind. You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot. Kenny will sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Mm. No. No. Sorry. I, I don't mean it like that, but damn, so nah. What's your call, Lee? Does Ben go with us? Bro, we cut him loose, bro. I'm sorry, Ben. Sorry, bro. I've got to do what's best for the group, and that means cutting you loose. Bro, you've been fucking up, bro. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a second? Oh shit! Oh shit! Damn! Now can we go? Damn right, Vernon. Come on! She said, "Don't we have some stone? Don't we have a say?" Nah, fam. They said you said enough. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. Yeah, I'm sorry, but we gotta cut this dude loose, bro. He can't be trusted. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's gotta be a way out down here. Oh shit. Nope. 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 Yep. Yeah, close that damn door. <laughs> Back upstairs. Uh oh. Lee, look. Kenny, you the goat, bro. GG's. Well, I guess we can make all the noise we want now. As body, get body. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Damn! Fuck! Come on, man! Come on, man! Get, come on, come on! Fuck! Fuck! No! 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 Nah, fam. Stay back. Come on, come on, come on. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Come on, man. you got it. You got it. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Yep. Fall back, homie. Come on. Come on, man. You got it. There you go. My man. Let's go. Oh, Jesus. Mm-hmm. Night night. Move and, and get out the way. Come on now. Now you got some oh shit. All right, come on, we gotta it's get out right, of here. Clap. Yeah, it's all right. Let's go. Any way out of here? This leads 
next to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Yep. Clem's next. Come on, let's go! Ben. How the fuck that happened? Coming. Damn. We both know. Let me go. Damn, I, I just wanted to. Come on, man. I just wanted to beat your ass a little bit, bro. I don't want you to die, bro. Just get your ass out. Let's go. To get away from him. Oh shit. Hey. Back already? Dog, don't do that, bro. We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind, but we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk. In oh, private. What do we have to talk to them about? Listen, man. About what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. Damn. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? You're coming at me with a lot here, Vernon. I need to think it over. Of course, take your time. But I want you to think about some things. You're a good man, Lee. 
You've been protecting these people as best you can so far, and they look up to you, rightly so. But it's different with a child. You might have brought her this far, but sooner or later she might ask you for more than you can give her. I'm sorry if that's hard to hear, but it's the truth. I appreciate it, Vernon. Let me think about it, okay? You do that. Damn. After all we've been through. She did save my bacon at the school, though. That was tight. I mean, Go she saved forward. her bacon. Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You Damn. Sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. Aww. I hate to see you go. <laughs> and you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. You already know it. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Damn. Oh, so she stick around, man. She she's a she's a warrior, bro. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? We're going to take a ride down by the lake. <laughs> Someplace else. Some clam honey. What's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Yeah. He's been fucking up. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's gotten a feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Damn. 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 Damn, damn, damn. That's something I didn't want to do, man. I didn't want to make her cry, man. Just being honest with her. I don't think we're going to have the time. Clementine? Clementine? Oh boy. Clementine? Clementine! Oh, God. Oh, hell no. Nah. Are you serious right now? That man on the radio. He's got to be the one behind this shit.
Yo. Oh shit! No! Wow. Are you serious right now? No. No. Fuck. Lee? Lee? Oh shit. Out here? Lee. You got to be you got to be kidding me, bro. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Are you Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't Yeah, got made me do this shit. What the hell is going on? Fuck it. Blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. Thanks, guys. What are you waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. Damn, we got fucking scratched, bro. My God. You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, mm. I'm with you to the end. You're a real one, brother. That's what's up. Now hold on a minute. You're not really thinking about bringing him with us, are you? Ben, I'm sorry, but I need Kenny on this. Maybe you should stay with the boat. Okay, sure. Just don't fucking lay a finger on it, you hear? Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Are we okay just leaving the boat like this? With only Ben to look after it? What choice do we Damn, have? Damn, even he's like, man, I don't know about this nigga. that boat <laughs> when I get back, I will fucking bury you in that backyard. Are we clear? Might as well go ahead and get over it and show him, man. Damn! There has to be that man on the radio. Get ready, y'all. What the hell? What the hell? Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Uh-oh.
There she is. Right. Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. Tori. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Who is this asshole? <laughs> oh man. Yo. Yo. What the hell, man? <laughs>